Thanks for picking up. So you've got the lead, take your daughter. We shall over. Thanks very much. 500 metres. Thank you. That direction. That direction. Thank you. We shall over. We won't do anything. Doing anything wrong. And they're being cowards by pushing us away. And Scott Morrison isn't even here to say anything. He's escaped off country. Just overall, it's really empowering to be out here with all of these fellow school strikers and seeing the effects that we're having. And it's just, it feels like I'm actually doing something with my activist voice rather than just letting these injustices happen. Oh, no more oil! Keep your carbon in the soil! I'm Freya, I'm 15 years old and I'm a school student here in Sydney. Yes, I'm 15 years old and I'm filled with a crushing doubt that everything I do isn't enough and I'm going to die before I can save the world. I'm living on a ticking clock where every shutter of the minute hand approaching 12 accompanies a sky full of smoke, heavy rain and rising death counts. Bushfires so hot they burn the sky red. News of floods and droughts and inhabited islands slowly sinking. And this is only the beginning, I, they promise, as I lie awake sweating from the 37 degree November heat, staring out at the sky that's not black but a cloudy, smoky grey. <sighs> Thank you. I wrote it a couple months ago when I got really frustrated because every time I'd try and go running, the fires would be so bad that I couldn't, I'd have to go home and I'd have to start walking and I felt like it was having a big effect on my life and I was really upset about the fact that our government isn't paying attention to us and to the things that we're saying. So I thought I would try and use my voice for change, even if the change is only a couple of my friends reading what I've been writing. But right now, whether we camp out or not, we're just protesting the fact that Scott Morrison has taken a vacation to Hawaii instead of being here, listening to the voice of the young people and of Australia and helping the bushfires. Silent night, dusty night, call is bad, call is trying, black I'm feeling the effects on the bush of the bushfires on my family. My parents are getting sick. I'm not able to do my outdoor sport and I'm not able to use the, my sport and my running as my therapy and so my mental health is being affected by these bushfires and I know that I'm one of the lucky people who's aren't, who isn't directly seeing the flames. So how can I be this affected and yet I'm still considered to be one of the lucky ones. So I'm fighting for myself and I'm fighting for those who are less fortunate. So long, yeah. What's taking you so long? Wake up, wake up. What's taking you so long? What's taking you so long? Yeah. What's taking you so long? Wake up, wake up. What's taking you so long? What's taking you so long? Yeah. What's taking you so long? Wake up, wake up. What's taking you so long? What's taking you so long? What's taking you so long? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up.